Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1, and this is the final part, part 7, um, Terms and Signs. Okay, music is really an international language. We use the same notation all over the world. So whether you're in Italy or Germany or Australia, music is written the same way. And so in order to be able to understand music all over the world, we have signs and terms that are used to give us instructions. Okay, some of these terms come from Italian words, some of them come from English words, some of them come from German words, but it doesn't matter what language you speak, if you're a musician, you're expected to know the, all the, the languages for these, for these terms and signs. Okay, first we have dynamic markings. Okay, dynamics really tell us louds or softs. Okay. So fortissimo, which is often shorthanded to FF, this means very loud. Pianissimo, which the shorthand is PP, this tells a musician to play really softly. Then we have tempo markings, and tempo means speed. So tempo markings tell the musician how slow or fast to play something. Adagio, I believe it's an Italian word, it means at ease, basically telling the musician to play slowly. Andantino means slightly faster than andante. Now, andante means at a walking pace. So, andantino means, you know, slightly faster than a walking pace. Presto means very fast. So, if you have music labeled presto, you know you have to play quickly. Rallentando, often shortened to rel, means getting slower. So you'll often see at the end of a piece of music, it'll say rel, and that'll tell you that you really need to slow down a bit. Ritenuto means suddenly slower or held back. Accelerando, often shortened to excel, means getting faster. And a tempo means at tempo. So this will be marked after you've had a change in the tempo and the composer is trying to tell you to go back to your initial tempo. Character. We have character markings that tell the musician what emotion or style to put into the music. Contabile. This means in a singing style. So that's when the composer really wants you to phrase beautifully. We have semplice, which means simply. He just wants you to play simply as written. We have articulation. And this tells the musician how they should execute a particular note or phrase. Now, articulation includes things like accents, which are little markings either next to or above a, a note. And this note must be accented by the musician. Then we have signs. We have the da capo, DC. It means from the beginning. We have a sign that says fine which means the end. We have a sign, del signo, ds, which actually, signo means sign, and it's telling you to play from the sign. We have anacrusis, which means upbeat. And we have what is called a fermata, which means a pause. Okay, guys, well done for sitting through all these lessons, and good luck.